In this video, we're going to go over integrating video into a website that you've created in Dreamweaver. Now, before we dive in, I want to talk about what I did to set this up here. So first off, under File, I did set up a brand new site definition, and I'm calling this Video Control for the demo. I also then went to File and New, and for this demo, since we're moving on to Bootstrap, Layouts and Responsive Web Designs, under the starter templates, I went to bootstrap templates and I went to portfolio because sometimes you may have some type of video reel, be it for 3D modeling, video, etc., that you'd like to incorporate into a portfolio. So I figured this would be a good choice here. So I'm going to go ahead and what I did was we had these image fluid containers in this portion here and we're going to actually decide to delete that and I want this to actually be for video. I have two videos that I want to work with. Now, the first thing is, is actually downloading the videos or getting access to them locally. Oftentimes, you'll see folks upload to something like YouTube or Vimeo, and then we embed. That's more on the coding side, and I will show a quick demo of that at the end. It's more knowing what to copy and where to paste it. However, there is something to be said that if I come in now and let's go over to Pixabay. This is always my favorite choice here for little demos. They do have a video section now. So I'm going to go ahead here for, let's say I want this bird demo here. This is actually my main option here. I don't need a huge, like a super high resolution. So we're actually going to go down to the 1280 by 720. Remember when you're working with video, one thing to pay attention to is the first time that a viewer watches your video, it's going to be buffering during the stream. This is a give and take that we deal with as far as internet, but also too as far as video quality. So I'll go ahead and download this. And very similar to what we do in the past here, I'm going to go ahead and copy that. And what we're going to do is I'm going to find that Dreamweaver projects in my video example folder. Now in this folder, again, we have a lot of options in here as far as folders go. I really strongly encourage you again, from an organizational standpoint, maybe making a brand new folder and calling it videos. And we'll go ahead and paste our video in here. I'm also going to change the name to Oceanbird, so it's a little bit more readable. And I'm going to come back into Dreamweaver. Now, because I made edits externally to Dreamweaver, if you notice in the file area here, it took a second for the video folder to show up. If you want to do a hard refresh on your file panel, like maybe you may you added an image or a video and it's not showing in your drop-down list. Right at the bottom here, there's this little refresh circular arrow. If you just click that, it should refresh and you should see the change there. All right, so in this first area here, let's go ahead and place our cursor right before the L in lorem. And what I want to do is I want to place my video above this header. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to my insert. While I've been working with bootstrap components. I actually want to come in and work with HTML here. And more specifically, I want to come down to where I have these audio and video elements here. Now I'm going to use my magnifier to zoom in so you can see this. I want to talk to you a little bit about these. So really the big thing we're going to be working with is the HTML5 video. That's the way that we are going to embed the video and link to what we just downloaded. The canvas for HTML5 is, it's actually a very robust uh, type of workflow there. The canvas often is the backbone that can be started as far as game design on the web and other interactive elements. You also have the audio and animated compositions. The one thing that I, you know, that very much they're still functional, but the one thing that I do want to point out to you is be very careful. You have Flash here. Uh, years ago, uh, 
Steve Jobs actually opted that Flash would no longer run on Apple products. And so Flash kind of began its descent into uh, being, uh, you know, being retired from the web. It was officially retired, I want to say, December of, oh, I want to say, like, it was in the 2010s sometime. So while these are in the interface of Dreamweaver, we do not use these anymore. So if anything, as a side note, Adobe Flash actually was reinvented as Adobe Animate, which is more of a vector animation program that we don't really use for video editing. Uh, so those are kind of your options there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom back out just so we can see the whole screen. OK, there we go. All right, so again, I'm going to come in. I'm going to place my cursor before the L in Laura, and I'm going to choose HTML5 video. And here we have our organizer as far as how we want to place this element into our web page. And I'm going to tell it before. Now, this is a very flexible UI here. Don't panic if you know, you're like, wow, that's super tiny. We haven't even linked the video up to it yet. So when you set up the video player, now when you have that active, you should be able to look down and see under properties you have a lot of different options here. So more specifically though, you wanna be looking at where it says source. Let's go ahead and get that local video hooked up to our video player. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on my little folder to navigate, and I'm gonna go under videos and find my ocean bird and say okay. Now I'm gonna let it think for a second here. It's gonna to need to refresh as far as the video is concerned. Some other things, though, that you are going to want to work with, and oops, let me go ahead and come back in and select this, is also setting a width and a height if you so choose. But let's go ahead, I'm going to actually preview this real quick just so you can see what happened. Oh, yep, we want to save our changes to our document. So this is what you're seeing. As you can see, it's way overscaled. So this was the smallest size, so we're going to pull this back a little bit. So let's go ahead and come back into our document here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say a width of, let's see, 1280. Let's see what 400 looks like. So I'll go ahead and save. Let's jump back. There we go. So we're previewing. You can see now this looks a lot better. And the thing is, what's really nice about the HTML5 player is I actually also have the controls that I would normally have. So the browser is actually doing that lifting for you as far as playing the video, but also adding in these additional controls. So now we kind of have our video in place here that is local to our overall website. So this will move with our website. Big pro to this, folks, is the fact that uh, you don't have to worry about the hosting service. If it goes down, then you have a broken link on your web page. However, in the grand scheme of things, I know a lot of web designers who will host things on things like YouTube. I do that quite frequently with my channel. Honestly, if YouTube goes down, I mean, something serious has happened there. So it's give and take at this point as far as the web is concerned. Um, probably if you're working in big corporations, they're going to want to see you keeping that video local, or they may actually have an internal server that you're linking to with your video. So that's working locally. But for sake of argument, let's go ahead and look at one other example. Let's say that I have a video here, and I'll bring up this video. So I have a video that I would like to work with and link to, but embed in my web page. If you may have noticed, or if you've ever done anything with YouTube, yes, you can come up here and grab the URL and copy and paste it somewhere just to share it with somebody. And normally in things like our uh, chat boxes, or if you're working on your phone and you wanna send something via text message, you automatically get that preview that doesn't really work on a website. So what we can do though is under the share options. More specifically though, 
we have this embed option here that will allow us to actually have that preview window that we're seeing, let me hop back over here, that we're seeing over here. So how do we set this up? Well, first off, we do wanna come in and grab all of this. So this is an iframe tag that gives us all the information or attributes of the video that we wanna incorporate. And I'm gonna go ahead and copy. Now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna come into this second area and this is where things get a little bit tricky. Honestly, it's less aggravation to go into your split view and just paste that code. So if I open up split and come back in and place my cursor, if you look down in this code area here, you can see my cursor is placed right in front of the L in lorem. All I'm gonna wanna do is bring it to the very front of this line here, right before that uh, less than sign. I'm gonna hit enter, come back up to where I now have this gap in the code and do control V. And then let's go back into live. So this is what you're gonna wanna see here. You've now got this iframe that Yes, it's not letting you change that, that's okay, but let's go ahead and save and let me show you in the browser what we're looking at here. Now you can see, in this you, video, I'm gonna take you through, oh, let me mute that a second. You have the video here, but also now you also have the capability that I can click on the YouTube link and again, go remember to the my video dream. in YouTube and continue versus having it locally and not being able to navigate outward. This is completely your call. One of the drawbacks here, as you can see, is with the iframe, I don't have a lot of control. It's kind of set already as far as the size is concerned. This is a little bit beyond the scope of just working in Dreamweaver, but if I do a split again, you do have all of these options in that code that you just pasted, but more specifically, let me zoom in here. Within the code here, notice you do have width and height. Instead of it being present on the properties panel, like we had with our original video that's local, it's contained in the code. So it could technically come in here and I could tweak that and like change that to 400. And now you can see here, and maybe I'll change this to like 250. So there you can see now I'm actually changing the size. So while I'm trying to keep these videos to be very editor friendly as far as using that live view only, here you can see now it updated it, it's a little bit more in line with the layout. I still have this ability to increase the size, but I had to go into the code to kind of tweak that in what we call an iframe tag. So those are two key ways that if you so choose, you can come in and add videos into your uh, web pages. Again, be very careful that if you are working with iframe, and linking to something externally. Yes, in the live view in Dreamweaver, it's gonna give you this error. So just make sure that you are going and previewing in the browser so that you can see the functionality.